Your favorite class? Okay. All right. Um, Nicole, can you read me? Actually, I think I had it. Never mind. I need the chart from yesterday in the notes. So the reaction is NH4 plus NO2 yields N2 plus H2O. All right. So reaction, I'm just going to do this very quickly because you already have it in your notes. Uh, actually, I don't need Everyone has it, so I'm just going to pick up where I left off. All right. So we need to divide... 3 by 1. What does that mean? Well, remember, the rate law is going to be rate equals K times the concentration of NH4 to X times the concentration of NO2 to the Y. NO2 minus. NH4. So there's your generic rate law. We are using the data they give us. We're going to plug in the rate. We're going to plug in the concentrations. And it's going to solve for the exponents. We already did one of them. I'm going to redo the exact same thing just to make sure you get it. This number is constant, so that we don't have to worry about yet. After we get the rate law, what we do is we go back to the data table, pick any concentration you want, any experiment, plug the numbers in with the exponents and the rate, and then solve for K. So that's always kind of the order of it, the, uh, the, uh, even on the AP test. They'll give you data, they say, all right, what's the rate law? So you figure it out, then it's going to say, what is the rate constant? And then they might ask some other questions, but th those are always things. That's a skill we need to be able to, to uh, master here is how to find the exponents and then how to find the rate constant. And unit on rate constant is a big deal. So we'll talk about that today as well. And then we'll, we'll also talk more about those graphs. Um, all right. Let's see here. So if we take reaction three and divide it by reaction one, the reason we're doing that is because I want to figure out what is the exponent on NH4 plus? NO2 minus is 0 0.01 for both of those reactions. So that's going to cancel, that's going to cancel, right? So again, I'm just rewriting what I did yesterday. So it's 0.2, or sorry, we got to write the rate here, 2.4 times 10 to the negative third, that's the rate, divided by 1.2 times 10 to the negative third. Um, and that equals, and we're going to have 0.2 yeah, 0 0.2 to the x divided by 0 0.1 to the x, 0 0.01 to the y divided by 0 0.01 to the y. That cancels. I didn't, I guess I should put them in. There's my k values. They cancel. This divided by this is 2. This divided by this is 2. So x must be 1. That's where we left off, right? Yep. Questions? I basically only do this one example of nice and slow. So after this, we're going to go a little bit faster. So I expect you to know how to do it. So when you're given a data table, you just have to find the two reactions. And they're always going to do this. Two reactions where one of them is the same and the other one's changing. All right? And then you can figure out the exponent from there. Okay. All right. So now what do we have to use? What two reactions to figure out? So we know this one is a one. What two reactions do we use to figure out why? Which ones? What two reactions to figure out NO2? One and two, right. Because NH4 is held constant, right? So we're going to divide two by one. So two divided by one. And if we do that, it's 4.8 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by 2 point, no, that's the other one, 1.2 times 10 to the negative 3 equals K over K. Um, this is 0 0.1 to the 1, 0 0.1 to the 1. These don't matter because they all cancel out, the same number. And then this is 0 0.04 to the Y and 0 0.01 to the Y. So what's this divided by this? Four. What's this divided by this? Four. So y is one. So the rate law for this reaction, and this was in the homework, the exact same reaction. There it is. Rate equals k times NH4 plus to the first power, NO2 minus to the first power. So you need to write this in your notes. Make sure you have this down, how to do this. 
What is the reaction order of this reaction? Second, how do you know? They're equal to. What's equal to two? The exponent. Right, one plus one is two. So again, this is called a rate law. So I know some of you are confused about rate expression versus rate law. The terminology is where you're really gonna kind of remember that, I hope. So if a question says rate expression, that's the change in concentration over change in time. Rate law is this. With a K, the constant, concentration is raised to a power. All right, I wanna do one more thing with this, then we'll go over the homework. I want you to solve for K. What is the rate constant? Now you can solve it experimentally. Uh, you could take these numbers and graph it, right? And if you look at your second order graph from yesterday, one over the concentration of the reactants uh, versus time, that's gonna be the straight line. Um, that slope gives you K. But we don't have a graph. So what we can do is use the rate law. So there's one of two ways to solve for K. Use the graph and get the slope, as long as you have the right units on the X and Y. Or take your rate law, plug in concentrations from the data, from the experimental data, solve for K. So go ahead, everybody do that. Solve for K, I'll come around and see what you got. All right, I am done with this notebook. This is a momentous occasion. I wish I had used the bigger notebook to start out with. So I want what K, uh, the value and the unit. Value and unit. I'll give you those two problems, right? So if you were confused on how to do the homework, after you do this, uh, go back, you know, go to the homework and see if you can fix it or figure it out. I'll give you guys a few minutes here. 